Hey guys, and welcome back. I have a really short video for you guys today on an interview that happened with some of their uh, game developers in the game. And I'll leave a link to the description in the description below for the whole interview. If you guys want to read it, I'm just going to go over this one part that's kind of important, teases some stuff. So I'll get right into it. It's they asked, uh, "What's next for Gwent? Mobile support, huge expansion sets, new modes, or anything else you can leak here?" Pretty excited about this says a new game mode can't go into specifics yet i mean i don't know what other game mode it would be that they've hinted at a couple times besides draft and i'm really hoping that's the one but i'm guessing we'd need a new card more cards first and then we got confirmation on a new faction which they confirmed before so there's a new faction coming out along with new leaders like they also said two new leaders for existing factions if you saw in the gwent art video unreleased art video that I had up a couple days ago. There was Anna Henrita and Detlef. They're confirmed new leaders that are coming for existing factions. Detlef's going to be monsters and Anna Henrita is going to be Nilfgaard. So that's pretty cool. We're not only are we getting new factions, we're getting more leaders for existing factions, which is going to be crazy. I'm really curious to see what their effects are. I'm hoping that they're not just going to be like, oh, this is a different version of the same leader with the same effect, just the card looks slightly different. Then we got a big tech update for the game, most likely coming by the end of this year. This will change the way Gwent is played. Now I'm, <laughs> this is so iffy with what they're saying. I don't know if they're gonna like change the whole point system, the whole drawing system or what, but I'm hoping they don't because I really like it the way it is now. Except for the coin flip, maybe they're like doing something to kind of fix the coin flip issue. That's sort of an issue. I'm hoping that's it and not like they're completely overhauling the game and making it like a life point game or something like every other card game. But we'll have to wait and see on that. And then UI changes, especially to deck builder and collection integration. This is going to be awesome because this means that you won't have to... When you're making a deck and you don't have the card, it's not so useful to me anymore, but it was really annoying before when I was making a deck and then I had to craft a certain card for the deck and I didn't have the card that you had to back all the way out, go to collection, find the card, then craft it. So I'm guessing they're making it easier from the deck building option to actually craft the card and put it right into your deck. That'll be awesome. Then expanding the card pool by adding new cards every two months. We already know that every two months they're adding 20 new cards to the game. Instead of every four months adding like 100 useless, well, 80 useless cards, 20 good cards. So as long as they keep making them really good cards that are used, I'll be happy. And then we got and more seasonal events like Mahakamal Festival, which we already know we're getting Halloween event and Phoenix event. So those are coming up real soon. Well, at least the Halloween event one is. I think we already got some of the unreleased card art from there in that one other video. But that's about it if you guys want to read the rest it's just like asking him questions like what's his favorite faction something about throne breaker and stuff if you actually want to give the whole thing a read it's down in the description and that's it guys real short i'll see you guys next time and have a good one <laughs>